Okay, welcome back, you fabulous math masters, fourth grade students. Time for the problem set. We're looking at page 63, so go ahead and hit pause so you can go get your problem set. Today's date is 09 2020. So let's take a look at our first problem. Let's complete the conversion table. I think you guys can do this, right? One kilogram equals a thousand grams. Three kilograms equals three thousand. How about over here? Four thousand grams. What would it equal? Four kilograms. What I'd like you to do is pause this, fill the chart out, the conversion table out, and then come on back. Welcome back, you fabulous fourth graders. I hope you got this all right. Remember, if you're not trying this on your own, you're not going to pick it up. You're not going to learn. 17 kilograms would be 17,000 grams. 20,000 grams would be 20 kilograms. And 300 kilograms, 300 dictionaries, or 300 bottles of water. Hmm, that would equal 300,000 kilograms. Hope you got that all right. Okay. Here we go. It says uh, convert the measurements. So we have one kilogram, 500 grams. So I know that would be 1,000, right, for the one kilogram, 500. And do this one with me. Three kilograms, 715 grams. So it would be 3,000, right, for the three kilograms, 715. Go ahead and pause the recording and then hit uh, play when you've finished this column. See if you got them right. And welcome back, you fabulous fourth graders. Here we go. 17 kilograms, so that'd be 17,084 grams. No hundreds. Zero, eight, four. We go down to 25 kilograms, nine grams. 25,000. That's a tricky one. Zero, zero, nine grams. How about this one? Reverse. 7,481 grams. Well, I know that 1,000 grams equals a kilogram, so I'll put 7 kilograms there and 481 grams. Down here, 210 kilograms, 90 grams would equal 210,000, right? And then 90. There's no hundreds. And just 90, 90 grams. Here we go. Okay, we're going to solve. Once again, I'm going to use my simplified strategy of... 3,715 grams minus 1,500 grams. Actually, I didn't have to do any simplified strategy on this one. And go ahead and hit pause, and you can tackle this problem on your own. And welcome back. Put the grams down there. 5 minus 0 is 5, 1 minus 0 is 1, 7 minus 5 is 2, and 3 minus 1 is 2. 2,215 grams. I bet you smart boys and girls got them all right. Let's look at 1 kilogram. How many grams is 1 kilogram? Well, remember, 1,000 paper clips, 1 kilogram, so it's 1,000. And we're going to subtract 237. Once again, a lot of decomposing going on in this one. Going to start by putting the 1,000 over here, making it 10 hundreds. Nope, now 9 hundreds. 10 tens over here, but they become 9 tens. And then finally, 10 grams. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 9 minus 2 is 763 grams. I didn't tell you to pause. I made a little mistake there. All right, express the answer in smaller units. Well, the smaller unit is grams, right? So we're going to go 25,000, right, zero, zero, 009. That's 25 kilograms, 9 grams. And we're adding 24 kilograms, which is 24,000 grams, 991. And go ahead and pause the recording so you can figure this out. And I welcome you back to the problem set. 9 plus 1 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. How about that? 5 plus 4, 9, and 2 plus 2 is 4, 49,000 grams. That's a lot of paper clips. Our dollar bills, even better yet. 
All right, how about on this one? 27 kilograms, 650 grams, minus 20 kilograms, 990 grams. Let's kind of shift gears a little bit and do 27 kilograms, 650 grams. It's always good to learn a few different ways to do these problems. Minus 20 kilograms, 990 grams. I already see a little problem here. This is subtraction. You need to decompose, so I'm going to take away... 1,000 grams or 1 kilogram and put it right over here. Zero minus, oh, put the grams down there. Zero minus zero is zero. Decompose. That becomes 15 or 150 minus 90 would be 60, right? Then we're going to go 15 because 15 hundredths right there. We don't have to do much. 15 hundredths minus 9 hundredths, 6 hundredths. And then 6 minus, oh, put them on my kilograms. 6 minus zero is 6. 2 minus 2 is zero. So we're left with 6,660 grams. All right. Here we go. 14 kilograms, 505 grams, minus 4,288 grams. Let's fool around with this one a little bit. 14 kilograms, 505 grams. And watch what we're going to do. We're going to convert this to kilograms. So 4 kilograms. Right, 4,000 grams and 288 grams. And we're subtracting. Stuck here, so this is going to become 400. This will become 100 or 10 tens. This will become 9 tens. And we'll bring those nine, uh, 1 10 over here to become 15 grams. 15 grams minus 8 grams. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is 7. Put my grams down there, and 7, 9 minus 8 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, it's kilograms here, 4 minus 4 is 0, bring down the 1, 10 kilograms, 217 grams, which would equal 10,217 grams, because they did say to solve in the smallest unit. All right, express the answer in a mixed units. Oh, mixed units. Oh, they did say mixed units there, so we got it right. What about up here? A smaller unit. Okay, we're good. All right, mixed units. We have five kilograms, 658 grams. Mr. Lee left a space there in case we have to decompose, <sighs> plus 57,481 grams. That's 57 kilograms, right? 481 grams. And we're adding. Go ahead and pause the recording and do the math on your own. Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Damasi Caballeros. As we tackle this problem, I'm going to bring down my unit of measurement. 8 plus 1 is 9. 5 plus 8, 13. 6 plus 4 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. Look at it. i got to bring over that because it was 1,100 grams. So now we have a kilogram. Bring down my kilogram measurement. Kilogram. 6 plus 7, 13, and 5 plus 1 is 6. We have 63 kilograms, 139 grams. Let's go ahead and turn the page over to 64. I'm only going to do one word problem. You guys have been doing a lot of math today, let me tell you. Yeah, our problem says use uh, a tape diagram to model each problem, solve using a simplifying strategy or an algorithm, and write your answer as a statement. All right, one package weighs two kilograms, 485 grams. I'm going to circle that. Another package weighs five kilograms, 959 grams. Circle that. That's what we know. Actually, I used to underline this, but I'm going to circle it. What is the total weight of the two packages? I put a squiggly line under what we know, and let's do a tape diagram per the instructions. First package is two kilograms, 480 grams, two kg. 485 G's for grams. The next package weighs 5 kilograms, 959 grams. What we do not know is the total. So we're going to add them up. Let's simplify. Let's go 5,959 grams, 5,959 grams, and 2,485 grams, 2,485 grams. Folks, you go ahead and pause the tape and try this one out on your own. And welcome back. Bring down the grams. 9 plus 5 is 14. 8 plus 1 is 9 plus the 5 is 14 again. 
9 plus 1 is 10 plus 4 is 14 again. Wow. And then 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8. We have 8,444 grams or 8 kilograms, 444 grams. The packages weigh, W-E-I-G-H, 8 kilograms, 444 grams, period. And look at this. We read, we drew, we write. The RDW method. It's what Eureka Math is all about. That's all we're doing today, folks. Log on to Zern if there's still time, but if it's 1030, come back, say hello to me and the fourth graders, or the fourth, third graders and me, and then off to recess we go. Thank you for being such a wonderful class.